Hey everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. Today I am reviewing one of the newish Yankee candles here in the UK. So Sage and Citrus. This is one of Yankee Candle UK's new core scents. So I've already reviewed a few of the core scents that are new to the UK, which I will link in the description down below, just in case you want to have a look at some of the ones I've done already. Um, these have been out for a few months, but obviously I've had some other reviews going out in between, but I got round to this eventually. Um, sage and Citrus, it was the same colour as Sage Green, the actual wax itself. So similar to the, the colour of the label along that bit there with the name in it. So this is available on the UK website now in a few different formats. You've got the large tumbler candle, which is $31.99. You've got the medium jar candle, which is $24.99. You've got the large jar candle, which is $29.99, and those two are the new signature style jars as well. Um, you've got the single filled glass votive, which is $3.99, and you've got the wax melt, which is £2.49. So you can see here, I have got the wax melt. Um, these have a burn time of roughly eight hours, and they are 22 grams of wax. So nice little burn. I did use the whole tart just for reference, and I can say I'm highly impressed. So, the notes for this, we have got top notes of lavender and citrus, and a word that I'm probably going to pronounce wrong, herbaceous. Can't say I've seen that in a Yankee Candle notes before. Um, mid notes of geranium and lavender. So, we've got lavender in there twice for some reason. I don't know if that's a typo on the Yankee Candle website or they're just saying it's heavy on the lavender. Um, and then we've got base notes of patchouli with powdery notes of musk and woody notes. So if you are a fan of woody musky scents, you are gonna really enjoy it, sage and citrus. I'm not a massive fan of lavender, and I would say that even though Yankee Candle have put it in the notes twice, I would personally say it's not super heavy on the lavender. I would say, I don't even actually really get any citrus considering it's called sage and citrus. For me, this was more heavy on the base notes, but it does say the top note is the initial impre impression of the fragrance. Um, middle note is the main body. Base note is the final impression. But for me, all I really got from this scent was powdery notes, musk, woody notes, patchouli, and maybe some of the geranium was in there as well. I definitely feel like this is more of an autumnal scent. I do think this is, is more suited for um, colder weather, sort of those vibes, more autumn, autumn-y time of year. But I did really enjoy this, considering that I only had it in the wax mill. It filled my whole bedroom with scent. It was really enjoyable. I'm not the biggest fan of musky, woody scents, and I still did enjoy this one, um, just because it was a really nice change to have a strong throw. And... I can say so far out of the new core scents that I've tried, I have been very impressed with them. They have been performing really nicely. So I do recommend this one if you if you like your musky woody scents. And like I say, there's definitely some floral notes in there, the geranium, maybe the lavender, but I feel like lavender is a very specific scent. It's really easy to pick the smell of lavender out. And I just don't think it was that strong in there. So if you're not a lavender a fan like me, I reckon you'd still get away with liking this. Obviously, everyone does pick things up differently, the way they smell things. So you might get this and think, oh, I actually think it's quite strong lavender. But everyone picks up different notes differently, which is why I always say, I might say I hate a candle and you might really love it. Everyone loves different scents. But yeah, for me, it's more heavy on the musk, the woody notes, the patchouli. Maybe there is a mix of the geranium lavender in there that's giving me those floral tones. But really impressed with this one i would say for a throw rating i'm probably going to give it a 7 out of 10 um, and my only reason for not rating it any higher is probably because some of the new core scents have been stronger so where i've been burning it in my my normal tea light wax burner some of them i've been able to smell it out into the hallway and as i walk up the stairs with bedroom door open but this one i would say it was mainly just heavy in the bedroom it didn't travel much further than that it wasn't that strong but it was still a really nice scent i just think it would be better suited for maybe the colder times of the year don't get me wrong here in the uk we're still having summer one day and winter the next at the moment 
today that I'm filming this being the 3rd of May. <laughs> um, I think the video is going to go out this Sunday. Um, so, oh yeah, and I'm going to put this video out on Sunday and I hope everyone has a great bank holiday here in the UK as well, actually. Just before I forget to say it, um, we've got an extra bank holiday this year to celebrate the King's coronation, which as this video has gone out, the coronation would have been yesterday, but we've all got tomorrow off as an extra day um, for the King's coronation celebrations. So hope everyone has a lovely weekend um, and you're all sitting indoors or have the windows and doors open if it's nice enough to have them open here in the UK. Um, but yeah, so seven out of 10 for this. Now I've finished rambling about the bank holiday and let me know if you've had it. Let me know if you purchase it after watching this review and what you thought of it. But yeah, I I like it. I definitely think it's one of the stronger Yankee candles. Like I say, the core scents seem to have been performing really well recently. Not one of the strongest I've had, but definitely an enjoyable scent. Um, yeah, let me know if you get it and what you thought of it. As always, thank you for watching and I'll get some new reviews out for you soon.